Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built Rides. This week we're going to be installing a spike air intake cleaner on this 2008 Rocker C Custom. Now she's a twin cam EFI engine, so if you've got a similar engine, uh, you'll be able to do the same thing. Sportsters and some other Harley models are slightly different. If I get a chance to do videos for them later, I will. However, this is how you do a twin cam EFI setup. Let's get into it. Alright, so this is what we're going to need to install the spike air cleaner on our Harley EFI. Um, obviously you've got the, the spike air cleaner kit, which comes pretty much the way it is shown here. Some do vary a little bit, but the basic principle is the same. Um, once I show you how to do this one, you'll get the gist. Uh, and if yours is a little different to this one, uh, at least you'll get a good idea of how to set it up. Uh, the tools you're going to need for this particular setup is a 9 16 spanner, a 5.32 hex key and a 3 16 hex key. Right, let's show you how to do this. If this particular setup looks a little bit old or second hand, it's because it is. I've purely taken it off the bike to show you how to install it, as I do get a lot of people asking. Alright, so as you can see here, I've taken the old system off, I've left the gasket on there. Um, we did have a similar setup to the spike air cleaner on here, a big breather kit. Um, however, I'm just going to leave this on here, otherwise I'm going to have to replace it. Um, this is still in pretty good, pretty good condition. Basically lay your parts out on the floor like I've shown you here. Like I've shown you here. Okay, because that's the order in which they go on. Okay, so first things first. As you've got your parts laid out on the floor, like I showed you, you want to take, take your first bolt and this little collar thing here, which sits into the bracket, put it through like so. Okay. You're then going to need your bracket. Okay, so that sits through there like that, and your first little gasket. That goes on. Next up, you've got your small aluminium spacer, okay, so that goes on next. Then another small gasket. Then you've got your breather. Now that, that's your, your breather for uh, your oil. Okay, now what happens is these bolts have holes right through them, right up into here. Essentially, it lets the oil vapors come out and out into the breather system. So that goes on next. And we've got another spacer, uh, gasket, sorry. Put that on. Next, your larger aluminium spacer. Another gasket. And lastly, some bikes don't need these. Uh, it all depends on uh, your spacing out between from your breather on your heads out to your carb. So just, just set it up and if it, if it needs an extra spacer in there, then you use this. So that goes on there. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll set both sides up like that. And then we'll put it on. Alright, so as you can see, I've got both set up like that, ready to go. Okay. Line it up on your carb. Don't forget to put your new gasket on. Okay, it should be uh, supplied in the kit. So take your old one off and put your new gasket on. Get that one started. Alright, and then this one. Do them up so they're reasonably firm, not too tight. All right, just so you can still play with the spaces and stuff because you want to line them up nicely. All right, get, get everything centered on there. Okay. 
that one's done. And we'll just line everything up again nicely. Just like that. So it looks looks all straight, tidy, lined up. Alright, so next step we've got it fairly, fairly tight on there. You can still move it around a little bit. Okay, everything's lined up. Still move it around. Line up your carburetor bracket, your air cleaner bracket with your carburetor using a cap screws. Attach the bracket to the carburetor. Attach the bracket to the intake. Alright, now that that's lined up and on, we can tighten up our breather bolts. Tighten up the breather bolts, make sure everything's lined up. As I said, uh, you can adjust these out to whatever angle you like them at. We generally put them straight up and down, but they are fairly flexible. So, tighten your breather bolts up. Like so. Next up's the spike, the spike itself. Now what you want to do is try and hide your grub screws on the inside or underside where you can't see them. So you've got a nice, nice clean finish when you're looking at the bike from above or from the side. Okay, so you want to hide hide the grub screws on the inside or underneath. Okay, so do that, and then you line up your line up your your holes again, All right? Using the button screws, A fiddly job doing this by yourself if you've got someone else to help give you a steady hand I definitely recommend it however it's not impossible to do by yourself Let's get those done up just adjust it up a little bit to get this last one in down here Get it almost, almost firm. Bring your spoke air cleaner down to whatever angle you want it at. You can have it facing forward, have it facing up. However, uh, we generally face ours forward, and then give everything one last tighten. Last thing to do is install our bolt caps, nice chrome finish, hide the ugly bolts, essentially they push on. Just be careful if they're not a firm fit, you can always, um, you can always use a little bit of RTV silicon. Just put a little bit of RTV silicon in the back and push them on and they'll, they'll eventually uh, stick on there. There you have it. Alright guys, that's how you install a spike air intake cleaner on a Harley EFI twin cam model engine. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, hope you find it easy, easy job to do. Please like and share, thanks for watching.